Top 20 Math Teacher Interview Questions and Answers A math teacher has the same responsibility as any other teacher, just that he or she specializes in math. Certain areas are assessed during such interviews. In case you are looking for a job, these 20 interview questions and answers will help you prepare adequately. 1. Why are you interested in this role? Sample answer. I believe that I have all it takes to better this institution further. I am passionate about math and love to work with students, which will come in handy in this role. 2. What are the roles of a math teacher? Sample answer. A math teacher creates lessons, instructs students, assign work and correct homework. He or she also manage the students during math lessons and communicate with their parents. 3. What major challenge did you face during your last role, and how did you manage it? Sample answer, I was employed in an understaffed facility. I had to switch between classes, and at the end of the day, I was really tired. To teach effectively, I decided to group the students and pair the weaker ones with the most brilliant. It worked. 4. Describe your daily routine as a math teacher. Sample answer, when I report to the school, I first look at the timetable to confirm my classes. I then prepare the lesson guide for the class and go through some of the previous day's work and homework. When it is time for class, I start by correcting some of the errors that I discovered from the homework before embarking on the day's activities. 5. What are the qualities that a math teacher should have to be effective? Sample answer. A math teacher should be understanding, especially when dealing with students. He or she should be a good communicator to relay information well to both parents and students. He should be a disciplinarian to ensure that students toe the line. 6. Describe briefly about your experience. Sample answer. During my first role as a math teacher at Higgins Elementary School, I got to work with different students who taught me the essence of patience in teaching. I also learned to be a good communicator and a disciplinarian. I then worked at Brages School, where I was the head of the math department. Here, I learned management and teamwork, which has greatly helped me in my career. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this type of work? Sample answer. A math teacher should have a goal-oriented mindset since math requires a lot of processing. He or she should employ a no-nonsense strategy when teaching to enhance student understanding. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? Sample answer. I have gone through the institution's operations and realized that parent-teacher meetings are not frequent. However, I believe that we can work on something and improve this. 9. How do you stay motivated at work? Sample answer. My main motivation is seeing my students do well. The greatest joy that a teacher derives from his or her work is results. Therefore, I always push myself harder enough to ensure that my students score well. 10. Describe a time that you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. Sample answer. During my first year of teaching, I failed to lay down rules for my student class. I realized that they were behaving awkwardly, and when I reported to the administration, I had no defense because I did not lay down any rules. I learned to give clear rules and guidelines during orientation. 11. What are the different classes of math? Which one do you prefer? Sample answer. The different fields of math are calculus, algebra and fractions. I cannot say that I have a favorite, given that I've been handling all of them. However, I major in calculus. 12. What is algebra? Sample answer. Algebra is a field of math that uses symbols and letters to represent numbers, objects and the relationship between them. It uncovers the unknown variables. For example, if I have lost three mangoes, and are now left with five, I can use algebraic equations to know the total number of mangoes I had. 13. What can you bring to our institution that makes you unique? Sample answer. Apart from being a math teacher, I am also a qualified counselor, and therefore, I believe that I can also help kids with their issues as we carry on with teaching. I am also at a better place to understand the kids since I have worked with different children during my career. 14. What frustrates you most while teaching? Sample answer. Usually, I am not too fond of a student disturbing others while studying. In such a scenario, I always ask him or her to sit in front and away from other students. 15. Do you have a teaching philosophy? If yes, what is it? Sample answer. My teaching philosophy is never leaving any student behind. I believe that a successful lesson or class is one where all the students have mastered what has been taught. If a student cannot get a concept even after repeating it, I always call him or her later and explain. 16. 
How would you explain the gap in your employment? Sample answer. I was employed for five years before I decided to take a break. During that time, I focused on blogging and counseling. However, I am ready to apply the skills that I learned during the time to make this organization even better. 17. How do you approach discipline? How does it help you in your teaching? Sample answer. I always believe that discipline plays a huge role in the learning process. In approaching it, I always make it clear what I expect and what my limits are in my initial class orientation. 18. What are your most effective teaching strategies when dealing with math? Sample answer. I believe in strict discipline while teaching and that all students must be responsible and complete all the homework given. However, while teaching, I always ensure that I have a relaxed nature so that the students will feel free to approach me anytime they have a problem. 19. What do you like most about teaching math? Sample answer. I love teaching math because it gives me so much joy to see students solving equations and thinking out of the box. Math is majorly application, and therefore, requires students to step out of their comfort zone and think. 20. What is the most effective way to communicate with parents according to you? Sample answer. I believe that good parent-teacher communication should be open and aimed at finding solutions for problems rather than blaming parties. In any case, there are concerns about a given child. Openness and fact-finding will play a huge role.